Peace and blessings, family. It's your boy DJ912 from DJ912Beats.com. I'm back at you again, man. So on the last video I just uploaded, I was telling y'all about how to layer your drums. So I'm using the same, the same layers. I'm using the same presets that I did in the last video. The only thing we did was the sound got out of it on the drums. So um, producers, when y'all are actually mixing and you wanting to get more, you want to get more bass, so to speak, sometimes necessarily you don't need more bass. Sometimes you need to turn the rest of your, your, your tracks down. And I'm going to give y'all a prime example of, of what I mean because all these plugins that we use have different presets to them. They got different volumes. They got different sound clarity. So sometimes it overpowers the track by those certain tones or those certain sounds. Each thing lives within its own uh, frequency range. Is I can show you right now uh, a prime example just on my vocals alone. If we pull up this fruity parametric EQ, as I'm talking to you, you can see where my voice lives. It doesn't live below 50 hertz. It lives you know, quite frequently in the middle, about its three and its four. So each tone vibrates at a certain resonance, and those tones um, have their own home. So if I was EQing my vocals and I want clarity, I would push my vocals up here on the high end to get a tad bit more clarity. So, um, or I would cut out the low end to remove a lot of the rumble in the, in the background, a lot of the bass or whatever. So learning those techniques will get you so much farther in this game. So um, I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. I'm gonna take all these, I'm gonna take all these tracks and I'm gonna turn them all the way down. And then I'm pushing back up to where you, where the drums will live over the top of, of um, you know, of the, of the rest of the track. I don't have a lot in here, and hopefully it doesn't sound too muddy. I'm doing this on the fly, so here we go. Right now, if I want to sit low in the mix, if I wanted my um, instruments to sit low in the mix, I'll probably leave them about right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and all of the drums that we, we mixed earlier, I'm just gonna push them above it. And you will hear the difference between you trying to actually max out your channels to get your 808s to knock hard, or just barely pushing um, the EQs up above, um, right above, what would be a good, you know, what I'm saying frequency point for your, for your uh, mix? So I'm gonna just push these drums above, and boom, you are gonna have extra hard hitting, 808 or or good kicking, um, or good punching kicks. So here we go. just that simple so like my volumes are above my um my regular instruments my the rest of my instruments even though it's slightly above them i will still get more punch in in that overall mix down of that song 
or of this beat when I finish it. Um, even though it's a beat that I'm just showing y'all techniques on, I'll finish the beat and let you hear it. So I will be posting this beat later on, so y'all just stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in, DJ912Beats.com. Be sure to check me.